We are following some breaking news once again from London, this time from a group of Muslim worshippers targeted. This is as Muslims were leaving a mosque, a van plowed into the crowd on the sidewalk. Now, witnesses say he did it all on purpose. Police now say the incident being targeted as a terrorist attack. At least one person is dead, eight are in the hospital, after a van slammed into a crowd of Muslim worshippers near a mosque in Finsbury Park, North London. A 48-year-old male suspect arrested at the seen bystanders actually wrestled that suspect from the van he was driving and held him down until police arrived whatever happened there was done in a very vindictive way it wasn't an accident it wasn't that the person was drunk and the car went out, the van went out of control this is being treated as a terrorist attack and the counter-terrorism command is investigating now, this comes just weeks after a van veered into pedestrians on the London Bridge, setting off vehicle and knife attacks that killed eight people and wounded many others on the bridge and in a nearby marketplace. Meanwhile, the tragedy continues on in London with last week's fire at the 24-story Greenfell Tower Apartments. That death toll now up to 79. Police say only five victims have been formally identified so far. The death toll could still climb. 17 people are still being treated in London hospitals, nine of those victims in critical condition. A 68-year-old visitor from California died after being pulled from the water off Maui. Maui fire officials say the man was snorkeling with a friend off Na Pili Point in West Maui. Now, his friend noticed that he was not moving. Fire crews arrived on the scene just before 3.30 Sunday afternoon. They found bystanders performing CPR. And despite efforts from civilians and paramedics, well, MFD says the man was pronounced dead at the scene. KITV's Mackenzie Stasco live at Schofield Barracks with more on how the group of chefs won and what exactly they made. Good morning, Mackenzie. Staying on the food front this morning, well, if you want to get someone to eat their veggies, try giving them a more seductive name. Oh, yeah? Yes. And the study found that giving veggies certain descriptive labels caused more students and staff at Stanford University to eat their veggies during lunch. So, for example, people were more likely to put corn on their plates if the food was described as rich, buttery, sweet corn instead of just corn. Now, researchers say indulgent descriptions, they make vegetables more appealing to people. All right, well, here's a, a, another interesting story for you, staying on the uh, unusual news tip here. <laughs> All right, KISS, the rock band, KISS, you yes. know KISS, right? Yes. And frontman Gene Simmons, always been very outspoken. Well, he wants to trademark the rock on sign. Yeah, he filed paperwork claiming he was the first person to ever use this gesture. Rock on, but Gene... Mm -mm. Yeah, sounds like yeah. he's losing on that that's one. That's it. Well, he likes to be in the news. Maybe uh, that's, that's it. That's right. Next thing you know, he'll be working on the shaka. Or he'll he'll trademark the sticking the tongue out of the out yeah. of the mouth. Well, he can have that one. That, that's all. <laughs> We're right. not going to do that one. <laughs> it's ten minutes past six o'clock here on Good Morning Hawaii.